is a beautiful view of Table Mountain. We can see across Table Bay. Table Mountain rises over one kilometer, 1,000 meters above sea level and forms these very dramatic cliff faces and has a very distinct flat top. In this short video, what I want to try to present is uh, the story of Table Mountain, uh, where it came from and how it got to be uh, where it is today. So if we look at Table Mountain, one of the things that's very striking, uh, accentuated by the very flat table, are the, you can see them now, the layers of these individual sandstone beds. Table Mountain is made up of sand. Uh, originally, it was loose sand, like you would find on a beach or on a river. And this loose sand uh, accumulated uh, on a surface, which we call the bedrock. All right, the bedrock uh, in this area consists of two rock types. The one is the Malmesbury group, which is the oldest rock in the Cape Town area. And it, like Table Mountain, Table Mountain group, it's a sedimentary rock. And when we look up close, we'll see the layering within these rocks. Now, these rocks have also been very deformed. You can see that uh, many of the original flatline beds are now oriented almost vertically. And these Malmesbury rocks were then intruded by the Cape Granite. And it was on that weathered surface of the bedrock that the Table Mountain group rocks that we see exposed on Table Mountain were deposited as that surface was going down and those sandstones were being deposited, stacked one on top of the other. At the time that the sands of Table Mountain were being deposited, this basement surface was subsiding, sinking. That sinking allowed for what we call accommodation space. There was space to accommodate the supply of sediment from mountains to the north, which were undergoing erosion. So you had this whole system of, of rivers, braided river systems, that were flowing from these northern mountains to the south, and they formed an extremely extensive deposit of river sand and beach sands along what was then the coast of, of the continent of Africa. These uh, sediments simply piled up one on top of the other over many, many millions of years, and they formed a very thick deposit, uh, estimated in excess of 10 kilometers thick of sediment. And what we have exposed in Table Mountain are just the lowest most formations uh, that were deposited, the oldest ones. And they together form the Table Mountain group. And they are estimated to be on the order of around 500 million years old. Over long periods of time then with this deep burial, it transformed these loose sands into proper hard cemented sandstone. Those sandstones are what we see today on the cliff faces of Table Mountain. And one thing that's very distinctive about them is they're very resistant to erosion. Hence, the very steep cliff faces uh, and the very distinct uh, table top. 